I knew that the stroke happened before that, that they did it. You, I kept telling them that he wasn't moving his right side. Um, I knew something was wrong. And I think the worst part, that, well, I, I don't think, I know the worst part was, was, wasn't the strokes. It was that they told us he was going to die. You know, they said that he'd be brain dead by that Friday. And so for us, it was like, I don't know, to imagine your worst day of your life. Absolutely. Then times at times, you know, 100. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how, but it's never really, it hasn't deterred him at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, my dad got him this cane yesterday, this walking stick. Um, and the first thing, Colin's like, all right, let, let me try it. So he's walking around, he's using it around the house. Um, mm -hmm. We do have rules. What's the number one rule? Don't hit people. Don't hit people. <laughs> especially. Don't hit people, especially who? Me? No. <laughs> Your brother. Oh. I know how you are. <laughs> but he just he takes everything he's trying. You know, he, he, mm -hmm. he has his tough days, you know. Um, he asked shortly after, you know, how long is he going to be blind for? Mm -hmm. We told him, you know, probably forever. Yeah. We don't know for sure, but probably. Mm -hmm. He had a moment of break down with that and then he's like all right let's deal with it you know with the paralysis was the same way with everything he said that i'd rather had. be blind than dead yeah. so no, i guess when i look at it that way <laughs> he takes everything he's right he's i don't know how he does it but it's it's amazing he just nothing slows him down nothing deters him he just yeah. keeps going yeah. it is it's amazing <laughs> part of the, the stroke has brought a short-term memory loss mm -hmm. so um Schooling right now is a big issue. We're going to have to definitely ease back into it. Um, he's been getting a, a bit sharper. You know, we do some, like, adding for him is a bit of an issue. So imagine throwing a 10th, 11th grader into 10th, 11th grade algebra. It's going to be impossible. Mm -hmm. So, um, but the school is willing to definitely work with us. You know, they love Colin there. And um, so his... It is, um, I don't know what she's called. She's a helper teacher. She's she's a para. It, yeah, she's like the head of the paras there. But she um, said that she'll move, you know, heaven and earth to figure it out. We'll get him back in there. Because I thought, my first thought was, okay, well, he's blind. Well, now he goes to a different school. He doesn't, he's not going to go back to East. And she's like, oh, no, he'll come back here. They actually teach him to use that the white cane. They'll teach him Braille there, and I had no idea. I thought that he'd have to go to a special school for that, but they have specific vision people at school. So they will work with him there. But we'll have to, half days at least, to begin with. I mean, you know, I mean, he's, there's no way he'd be able to do a full day. Um, for now. For now. But you miss your friends. You want to see your friends. He asked when we go in for Dylan, when Dylan starts school, if he can come in too and just say hi to everybody. And, yeah. you know, so. It's kind of, it, I don't know, not scary. It's kind of, Helen's not a very, um, like, huggy, touchy kind of kid. He's an emotional kid, and he, and he, it, you know, he, he deals well with things. But the last time we went in, one of his teachers came up, and um, she, like, just... <laughs> wrapped her arms around him. Just wouldn't like go and she's this short little thing, so he's you know he's tall. six feet tall and she's like five two and she's just like latched around him and didn't want to let go. You know, I think they they um everybody follows in there and they when school was going on they were so supportive and they had Mondays were Collins Day and um it was it was crazy. Did little fundraisers at school for Colin, you know. Cookies yeah. for Colin. Cookies for Colin was the first one. They tried cards for the um, the cooks made cookies, and then they sold them for fifty cents a piece. Mm -hmm. And their goal was to raise a hundred dollars for Colin, just so he could have some extra money. And they raised six hundred dollars. Yeah. So I mean, little things. I mean, it's just, it's just for some cookies. <laughs> well, it's amazing. Cookies are good. And they yeah, cookies are good. So yeah, the school's been tremendous in school. Yeah. yeah. You want to say something to the donor family? Thank you. Yeah.